The second question is always going to test to see if you know how to borrow from zeros. 700,203. Yes, please write this. 259,867. And we're subtracting. The rule is always going to be the same when borrowing from zeros. So I'll give you a moment to write this down. And again, this is like a number two on a comp test. Can I do three take away seven? No. No, so I have to borrow. I don't have any to borrow from that zero, so I have to go to this two. I take one away from the two to make it a one. <coughs> what happens to this zero? A nine. Okay. The only one that gets the full value is this three right here that becomes 13. 13 take away 7? 6. 9 take away 6? Three. 3. Now here I have 1 take away 8, which I can't do. So again, I need to borrow. The, the zeros don't give me anything. So I borrow from the 7. The 7 becomes a? 6. six. And then these, remember, do not get its full value. So you can't make them 10s. They become? 9s. Nine. Both of them. The one that gets the full value is this 11 now. Okay. So 11 take away 8? Three. 3. 9 take away 9? Four. 9 take away 5? Four. 4. And 6 take away 2? How would I double check this kind of problem? Add. What would I add? Uh huh. Yeah, these two right here, add them together. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this top part here and let's add 7 and 6? 13. Carry the 1. 6 and 1 is 7 plus 3? 10. 8 and 1 is 9. 9 plus 3? 12. 12. 9 and 1? 10. 5 and 4 is 9 plus 1? 10. 4 and 2? Plus 1. So this answer should be the one that I'm covering. Is it? Then I've done it right and I can move on to the next one.